indefinite articles. Okay, so we're going to be talking about articles really specifically in the next two units, but you can never get away from them in French. So an article is a short word that tells us which noun or nouns it is that we're talking about. So there are exactly three articles in English, a, an, and the. These fit into two different categories. We have indefinite articles. So indefinite means not specific, meaning we don't care which noun exactly it is that we're talking about. If I say, for example, give me a book, I don't care which book, I just want a book. That's indefinite. Definite articles in English is the word the. So I'm talking about a specific one that I want. So um, give me the book. You know exactly which particular book it is that I want. I want uh, maybe the math book. We're going to be focusing in this unit on French indefinite articles. So how to say a pencil, a pen, a teacher, that sort of thing. All French nouns fit into two different categories. So we're going to worry about number. Are we talking about one thing or more than one thing? And we're going to worry about gender. So are we talking about a guy or a girl? Anything that has an actual biological gender, so like people, animals, etc. We're going to match the gender that they are. So if they're a boy, we're going to use un to mean a. So like before we say un garçon, a boy. By definition, a boy has to be a boy. So we're going to use un garçon. And if they're a girl, we're going to use une. So une fille. By definition, a girl is a girl. So une fille. This is why words like élève, professeur, ami, etc. can switch articles. If I'm talking about my best friend Rob, I'm going to call him un copain. If I'm talking about my other best friend Stephanie, I'm going to call her une copine because each one of those people are a different gender. We're always going to focus on the gender of the person we're talking about, not your gender. We don't care if you're a guy or a girl. We want to know is the friend that you're talking about or is the teacher you're talking about, is the student you're talking about, are they a boy or a girl? And you're going to tell us that information by do you say un élève or une élève? So, if you're talking about a boy, you should use un. If you're talking about a girl, you should use un, regardless. We can do this with anything. Okay, so if you're talking about so-and-so's brother, we're going to say un, because a brother, by definition, has to be a boy. If you're talking about their mother, you're going to use un, because a mother has to be a girl. We're talking about a female teacher, so you want to talk about Mrs. Brenner, you're going to call me un prof, because I'm a girl. But if you're talking about your best guy friend, you're going to call him un copain, or un ami, because he's a guy. But here's the thing. If you were paying attention on your vocabulary, you would see that we use these with every single noun. So for example, it's un crayon. Is a pencil a guy or a girl? Biologically, it's neither. But in French, it's a guy because we say un crayon. Every single French noun has a gender, even if the actual item doesn't. It's just a function of the way that French grammar works. Unfortunately, there is no way to tell which gender a word is besides just memorizing the article. There's only one rule in the entire language and that's if a word ends in T-I-O-N, it's always feminine. For example, the word nation, it's always une nation. But that's the only rule in the entire French language. Every single other word, you just have to memorize. Uh, I really suggest things like flashcards for this. It's probably the easiest way to do it. So for example, if we look at words like une fenêtre, a window, we know that that's a feminine noun because we're using un with it instead of un. Is there anything about a window specifically that makes it a girl? No, the French just use un with it. Same thing with un salle de classe. We know that that's a feminine noun because we use un with it. 
or un stylo, a pen. Un stylo has to be masculine because we're using un. You can do this with anything, hey? Okay? Even if it's not a word that we've covered so far, every single French noun has this. So une équipe, you don't know what that noun means, but you know that it's feminine because it has an une in front. An un arbre, you know that that's masculine because it has an un in front. Same thing with un ordinateur. The only way that you can tell is by looking at that article. There's no other logical way to figure it out.